All right, so you guys ready to see what it looks like inside here? Let me get in here so I can get a better. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video, man. I apologize for my voice. It's kind of messed up. I mean, I don't know what happened. I wasn't even screaming. We didn't do no party, no nothing. And I just woke up like this. I guess it's just what's going around. But that doesn't stop us from getting the job done. Um, so real quick, I actually split up uh, the video that I just posted into two videos because the video was actually rather long so uh, I had to split it up in two you know what I'm saying so you guys can get a good um, visualize, uh, visualize exactly what was going on um, with the inside of the box so there's a, a bracing and then there's a porting um, part of the box um, videos both of the links to each other videos are always in the first comments I'm gonna always leave from now on all in the comments. The first comment's always gonna have the link to the most previous video, so check it out before you watch it so you can understand what's going on. Um, get, inter and get entered into the giveaway. Um, May 2nd is the deadline, and Cinco de Mayo, which is May 5th, we're announcing the winner. Um, and we got pretty good entries in it, man. You know, get your entries in. Um, purchase that um, Never Loud Enough shirt for $25, and it gets you five entries. The sticker, $10, uh, $10 and get you two entries. Um, but for the sticker, add $6 for shipping, and the shirt added um, $10 for shipping. Now, if you want to go ahead and get 10 entries in, buy the shirt and the decal at the same time for $30 plus $10, so that's $40, and it gets you 10 entries in for that giveaway. And also, turn your notifications to all. I'm doing a surprise giveaway. Um, comment done after you turn them on to all to get entered. And once I see within 24 hours of uploading a video, a real video, not a short, video of it getting a thousand views i will announce a winner and someone will get something nice from me man so get all that stuff done and let's get this channel so let's jump right into the video okay so we actually ended off the last video with um my router bit had broke and as you can see i did a rough cut in it um because i need my router bit so the bearing can run along this piece of wood right here the nicer one so it'll cut up against that and so it gives me a nice um per perfect flush um cut and the router bit's actually right here, guys. These are the good ones, the Diablos. And I needed one that would at least a one inch shank. The other one was probably like three quarter inch shank, which it probably would have cut it, but it would have been cutting it real close. And with this one, it could actually get it really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and load the shank up, and then I'm gonna get started on routering the box. I'm gonna separate the box just so I don't have to carry everything over. I actually just try to put it on the table. And since I'm a little sick, don't have enough energy to get that guy on there so we have to separate it and just like that bam it's like a thousand pounds lighter guys um so we're gonna router it out i already put the new router bit in there look at this is looking fresh so what i think i'm gonna actually do is i'm gonna router this bottom piece first so it's nice and flat and then i'm gonna come back and, and run the, the bearing along the newer one so it gives a nice smooth cut so it doesn't give me jagged edges i want it to, to be you know pretty perfect so let's get on it all right so i started routering some of it out but i feel like you guys need to watch this so you can get a better understanding so you see it's getting routed out but it still has like that little lip that's right there but that's okay because we can run the da through it and smooth it out so let me fix the camera real good so you guys can watch it the finished product real quick so as you can see look it's nice and flat I need to go ahead and uh, sand it down a little bit more my corner was looking kind of funny so I just added a little bit of body filler on both sides and I'm gonna sand it down I'm letting it dry and then I'm gonna sand it down and then once I actually like texture it and wrap it you'll never even notice like that was there but there you go guys that's that's what it looks like I need a vacuum all to solve this out but while this is drying i am going to go ahead and work on the front pieces okay so the way that this is actually going to work is i am going to actually lay out the the top piece and then i'm going to do um the cutout for the window because to load these subs up i need to cut a window out i'll probably do it like 48 by like 12 or something um, so that window I can have access inside the box so I can uh, put the box together 
and load the We're stuff. just going to go ahead and cut the windows out and get it ready for the, the lids. So basically what we got left to do so the box is completed is put the double stack layers of it, cut the window out, and then um, sand that box down. And then the box is actually ready to go inside the truck here in a matter of uh, um, like probably an hour. And then we can start building the platform on this box so the box doesn't do no, no wobble action. You see what I'm saying? So let's get on it. Alright, so this is an hour later. Man, I haven't been able to talk that good. Alright, so this is an hour later. So we actually have the um, the back of it put on. That's for like extra bracing. The back piece right here, this one. That's actually for actual um, bracing. I had a little overhang, so I went ahead and I routed that out. So it's real nice and flush. And so we have all this stuff in here. I may actually even run a staple like along this lip right here. Um, just so it'll like really get it that much better. But it's upside down right now. Once I actually cut out the window where the subs are going to be going um, I am actually going to show you um, the box how it looks complete and that's actually going to get a, a 48 by 20 um, lid on it with weather sealing on it because that hole right there that's actually upside down so right here this is the upwards of the box that's the up of uh, the top of the box and this is the bottom so we're going to cut that window out so I can get the subs inside there and connect the box as well um, so I'm actually going to cut that out real quick with the jigsaw and then we can put the box together and then we can actually go ahead and put the box inside the truck. But I'm going to take the seats out. I'm going to clean myself up pretty good. I'm going to take the seats out and then I'm going to put them like over here in the corner because they are nice seats. And then the fleece that I got, I'm just going to lay it on the floor so we don't get um, the carpet as dirty as what we're supposed to. And look, this is the carpet that we're going to let the box in. Uh, hot out here. You see him? And so I went to go get some packets that I needed so I can mount the back of the box down and then we got to make the, the platform for the front of the box so it doesn't wiggle and stays in place. So I'm working quite a bit. Um, last week I had to cut hair and it rained on Thursday so I lost a lot of time. So I'm trying to make up for lost time today and tomorrow. So Wednesday all we got to do is um, load our electronics in and get that thing playing. So let me get on it real quick. Man, go ahead and like this video real quick because I am fixing to show you guys the, bo the box. It is woodworking wise, it is done 100%. And now we're going to go ahead and mount the box inside the truck and build a platform. But before that, let's show you real quick. Okay, what do you guys think? There's the port right there. This is where all the base comes up from. You feel me? And there's the back of it. I do have a brace. Um, that staples in all the way through um, to hold everything in place and like I said that is the window where you put load the subs in so it's uh, three quarter inch thick wood that's gonna go on top of it and I'm gonna pre-drill all the holes in it so it sandwiches up pretty good um, but you know this front plate is actually braced here there and everything and it, how it's like somewhat thin but not really thin it, it holds it really good so Basically, when you seal this up, the the sound from the ported side from there, from where that port's at, all the bass comes out through that hole right there, and that bitch be beaten. Um, nice little box, I think so, man. That looks really, really nice. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually take the seats out of the truck right now, move the truck up, and take the seats out of it and put it inside and see what it looks like, guys. So drop some comments, let me know what you guys think, man. That box, it's big, but it's not really that big. It's just really wide, but tall wise, I don't think so. It should be pretty good in there. So let's get it done. All right. So look, the seat's out and the box is in. But these are the times right here. Look, the box. These are the times when you actually have to get on your, pull your pants up, tie them up pretty good, tie your shoes up, and get to work because, um, you know, we have to get inside there to drill that and to put the box together. But good thing for our trusty angle, we can get in there. I may actually even just show you guys right now. Hold on. Okay, so since um, that screw we can't get in from the front, what we have to do is we have to somewhat line it up. And then you get our brackets, our clamps. And we clamp this guy nice and tight to join it. And just make sure the seams, you know, they meet up the way that they're supposed to. And I think the seams are pretty good. 
we just have to mangle it. Okay, right there. That's a good seam right there. And we'll just actually go ahead and put another one on top. Just to hold the box in, play, in place while I get the angle and drill this guy inside here. See what I'm and just like that it's put together. And we can do that for the other side as well. Just so the box is in place and we know what, is, what we're working with. So same thing like you see, it's not lined up. So what I'll actually do, I'll put a pieces of wood and line it up so I can go ahead and screw her down. So let me do that real quick and I'll get back with you guys. Okay, so as you can see, the box is in there, but it's not all the way centered in. I just wanted to put it in there and see what it looks like. So now I'm actually gonna center it and then I'm gonna make like filler panels for the sides so you never see none of that stuff and then once I get done with that I'm gonna call up my boy and see what he wants to do with the amps um, we'll probably put him like right here or something so I gotta talk to him and see what he's talking about um, or maybe if we can maybe leave it that open right there so I can put the battery right there honestly and then so I can track all the wires underneath it um, so many stuff that we can do so but I mean that's it right there guys uh, that thing is gonna bang. Look at that port. That port's gonna like bang off that thing, man. Really bad. Let me know what you guys think. I ain't seen a a um, extended cab with a blow through or not even blow through. This is not even blow through. This is a band pass box in, in it with it. That's gonna look so good, man. So good. So let me continue building some of the stuff. I'm gonna text my boy right now, and I'm gonna see if the battery actually fits right there, so I can squeeze it right there. And see what we got going on, man. Okay, so now I use these little, like, little, real thin lithium batteries. And look at that guy. And, like, it fits right there in the corner. Like, you see the big old box? And it fits right there. So I'm actually going to build a battery box and put the battery um, box, like, slide it in through the bottom. And then slide the, the battery on top of it so that thing is, like, good secure. And then I am actually going to start building the uh, filler plates. Um, so it's going to go, like, right here. And on the sides same thing as over there um so the carpet the box is gonna get carpeted the that red and then we just do uh these panels that just go on it to just cover up a majority of that stuff right there so it's like pretty much like flush mount you see what i'm saying um it looked pretty good you know same thing over there it'll just make it all look like one and i may actually just go ahead and um put the lid on there right now so at least I know exactly what I got going on because I may mount the amps like right here as well too. I'm gonna go bust the amps out real quick and see what they look like. Okay so this is the battery that we're putting in there, the uh, red kin. And I'm building the battery box right here. And even though, um, let me set up the tripod. It's just a battery box. We still gotta make sure it's glued and stapled good because you don't want that thing to like fall apart. You see what I'm saying? So. Go ahead and glue her up real quick. and test the battery out real quick and it should just slide right in boom perfect fit guys look at this thing you see it let me zoom out so the bat that's the battery box so it's gonna hold it in place I'm gonna show you how it goes right now the back of it I-75 man that's our interstate here okay so now let's see so it slides underneath it and it's right there so we just gotta like push it as we slide the battery in so let's see what it do right now all right so we actually had to improvise we had to take the one of the fronts off because it was hitting on it it wasn't allowing the battery to sit all the way down although we could probably put a quarter inch piece on it which we probably will but it really doesn't matter so um once we bolt the, the thing down 
That's all that really matters. And I can get in there with my screwdriver. And I just don't want the battery going from like back to front, like sliding. And it, right there, it's in place pretty good. And so now, what we actually have to do is we have to make our um, templates for the top and the side to like our filler pieces. And I think after that, then we just do the one right here. And I think we're ready to rock and roll, guys. I think pretty much it's, it's done. What you guys think so far? Draw some comments. First, OBS extended cap with the band pass in it. Look, the port, man, that thing's gonna beat so hard, man. That thing is gonna beat so hard. The console that he has, but I'm gonna try to see if we can probably put the EQ right here. More than likely, we'll put the EQ right here and then the voltmeter right here, so it'll give it a little bit of look. Um, and he can just keep that uh, centerpiece in case he ever wants to do a double, then we're not gonna in interfere with it. So we'll just do it right here. There should be plenty of space. So, I um, mean, he has the Alpine deck and he already has the things cut out and we gotta run speaker wire in it. But there's already speaker wire in it, so we may actually just use that. Um, it's good, so we can just link them all together. And I mean, we're pretty good. So let me make these filler plates, plates and then we'll get back in. I'm gonna show you what I gotta do to make these filler plates. So this is my, uh, the panel for the uh, flush mount. And what I'm actually doing right now is I am actually going to countersink it. So when I put the screws in there, the, the heads are not like sticking up all the way. You see what I'm saying? So we screw it. Screw through it. So that one's right there. So we pre-drilled it so the screw can pass by. And this is the countersink bit right here. And we are gonna go ahead and watch out. You see how it like widens it out? Same thing over here. The hole is just right there, regular hole. And we just go. It is wide, so now the screw is actually countersunk inside the wood. So now with those being countersunk, I could actually like take this piece and it'll go right here. And I drew up a line and you can just go mount it in. So this is actually um, called flushing out the, the, the box so there's no open gaps. In theory, sometimes it helps out the base. So the base doesn't go like downwards or nothing. It just, all of it just flows forward. And that's what we pretty much want. The base just to travel up and down. So that's that. It's just to, this is just pretty much just to set it in place. See what I'm saying? And that, ladies and gentlemen, it is done. Um, looks pretty good. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just to flush it out real quick. And then, once I actually build the front piece of it, it's gonna cover up the majority of that gap so we don't see any of the, like, the extra right here. It's gonna go all the way through it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the one for over there too as well. And so we can get it out the way. Okay, so as you can see, I got the top plate over there and this top plate over here. And so now I'm making the front faces of it. And so what I'm basically doing is, let me see if I have my camera zoomed out. So I'm basically putting my board up to where it goes. And we are gonna mark off the areas which I already got it somewhat marked off right here where this armrest is at. And then somewhat on this bottom armrest, but this one actually slants so I know when I do my cut I gotta put that slant in it so basically to get how depth I want that I'm gonna measure how much that is so I know how much to come in so that corner meets up with that and then so same thing with this I'm gonna measure out how you know deep that is measure it and then but remember I have to do that curve on it because it has a slant on it and same thing right here it has a pocket so we got to cut right there so when this panel gets cut it just slides in so I'm gonna go ahead and mark it real quick 
and then I'll show you like how the markings look and then we're gonna cut it okay, I got it marked off so basically like right here and then right here it's gonna get cut off but I am actually gonna go ahead and like round this real quick um, and same thing like right here um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this um, but this is just like the template um, if it gets cut out pretty good then obviously I'll save this one but if it doesn't you know then I know where you know I need to mark it on the other ones because I cut um, other ones so this is not the exact one this is just to give myself the rough cut and then I'll flip it to the other side and see how much more I need to cut or less so I can meet it on the other side and so I have like almost identical panels so let me cut this out real quick and I'll let you know what it's looking like and so like right here we can add like curves and remember like even if your hair you're off like by a, like a eighth or of a sixteenth gap, that's still fine because the carpet is rather thick. It's gonna be the like the sixteenth thick on this side, sixteenth thick on that side, so it'll like really like uh, join those um, those gaps in and it'll look really good. So let me do it real quick. Okay, so you see our template's actually pretty much good, um, and it meets up here in the corner. Um, it's actually pretty good, and you see like the contour of that one's pretty good. Um, that one's off by a little bit, which I think I'm just going to like redo since I already got the other ones cut out. I can just go ahead and uh, redo the template and then light it up. You see where it's off by a little bit and uh, mark it and then, you know, slice it down and that panel's ready. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. All right, you know what it is, man. It's your boy Miles. Let me, let me turn this thing so I can look at myself while I talk. All right, so... My camera died as I was finishing up the panels that we got going on. Man, dang, it's really dark. Um, but anyways, so the um, my camera ran out of battery and I couldn't finish recording. But I pretty much stopped at the last clip um, of the video. And um, we'll just pick up the video tomorrow, man. Let me know what you guys think. Drop some comments about the build about the box that's it for today so subscribe to the channel drop the comments turn those notifications to all and remember we got that uh 212 and 1200 watt Terra, Terra amp giveaway these 12s that are in this truck are actually the ones that we're doing in the giveaway so you guys are gonna not necessarily hear but just you know see how much you know vibrating and everything that it makes so the subs are good and then you know i can be like man these things are about that life so subscribe to the channel enter the giveaway Turn notifications to on, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.